It's estimated that by the end of this decade, one in every 100 Canadians will suffer from inflammatory bowel disease. It's a silent illness that often strikes people in their prime. Tess Van Stratton has more on how that and how the Crohn's disease and colitis gutsy walk is helping to make a difference in vital people. Looking at golf pro Michelle McCann, you'd never know she lives with a debilitating disease. You have no energy and then it's hard to hang out with friends when you can't leave your house and it's hard to golf when you need a bathroom every five minutes. <laughs> Michelle was diagnosed with Crohn's disease six years ago when she was just 22 years old. The biggest thing honestly was not letting it get to me because it's, it's pretty daunting being told at 22 that the rest of your life you're going to be sick. Michelle's been so sick, she's ended up in the hospital and she can no longer work full time. She's one of the 270,000 Canadians believed to be living with inflammatory bowel disease, chronic and incurable. Crohn's and colitis prevent the body from digesting and absorbing food. And sadly, people are most commonly diagnosed before the age of 30. It's awful. My daughter's in the hospital now. She gets blockages. She's had 15 surgeries now. Perry Monich's daughter, Heather, has suffered for years with ulcerative colitis, and his son, Gordon, started getting the same gut-wrenching pain in 2019 and was diagnosed with Crohn's. All their medications failed for them. So my daughter lost her colon six months after she was diagnosed, and my son lost his colon a year and a half after he was diagnosed. It's completely changed their lives, and for Perry, who gives back by volunteering with the Victoria chapter of Crohn's and Colitis Canada, the hardest part is watching his children suffer. Seeing my daughter and my son so sick. My daughter went down, she was 100 pounds when she started, she went down to 67 pounds. It's why Crohn's and Colitis Canada's annual Gutsy Walk, an important fundraiser to help find a cure, is so important. And while this year's walk on June 6 is virtual due to COVID, I'm walking in your way. People are encouraged to post videos to social media to help raise awareness. I'm walking in Fernwood. For Michelle, who hid her illness at first, she's hoping that by speaking out, she can make a difference. So I really want to raise awareness that there are a lot of us out there that are young, have chronic illnesses. Some days get having a shower and going to the grocery store is too much. And I just, I'd love to reduce the stigma where if I go into a store and I need to ask for a bathroom, someone doesn't stare at me when I have to explain to them that, no, 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 I need to go right now. You can register or make a donation at gutsywalk.ca. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.